Whoa, 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 whoa. It's the illusion reporting from somewhere on Spaceship Earth. I'm uh, leading home headquarters in Terra Cruiser 3. And um, I was like, dude, I need to, I need to, to rap about something for the uh, fish heads and the dead heads. This video is for you. For those of you who don't know who fish of the dead are, I don't know, man, open your ears. Anyway, the reason I'm making this video is those in the know probably don't do it, but those not in the know or those in the fringe try to compare the Grateful Dead and fish. And there really is no similarity. All right. And the way I was thinking, why I finally am making this video is because I was thinking about it today and I figured out what the analogy is. It's basically trying to compare the sun and Jupiter. Like, look, they're both round. They're both celestial bodies. They both inhabit the same universe. But that's where it all ends. And that's the thing, man, like, dude, Fish and the Grateful Dead are awesome bands on their own, doing their own magical thing. What they share in common is their ability to, to plug in to the universal collective and the, the collective imagination and cause a collective hallucination, if you will. They are masters of the musical frequencies in modern times. But to say that Fish and the Grateful Dead are sim... I mean, everyone made a big deal because Trey played guitar on the 50th anniversary thing. Like, okay, great. That's great. But, uh, look, man. Don't take offense. The lyrics of the Grateful Dead are a hundred percent better than the lyrics of Fish. And not knocking the lyrics of Fish, like I love the lyrics of Fish, but the Fish thing's more zany and a little bit, I don't know, college, trippy. You know, they've gotten a little bit more mature as they as they've aged. But you know, generally speaking. The fish lyrics are more zany than deep. Now, the Grateful Dead lyrics are great. Like, great lyrics, dude. You go listen to Loser and get back to me about the lyrics. You go listen to Ship of Fools or Paint My Masterpiece. I mean, and get back to me about the depth of the lyrics. Dude, I was just cranking Terrapin Station a minute ago. I mean, that's one of their lighter albums, dude. Like, like just kind of like dancing, dancing in the streets, right? But still estimated profit, man. That's a pretty beautiful set of lyrics, man. And when you really hear Jerry sing... Like, if you've really listened to Jerry Garcia sing, dude, he's beautiful, man. His, his, the way he sings is beautiful. And I'm not knocking Trey, man. I think, dude, I, I love Fish, man. You know where Fish just fucking blows minds? Is that acapella stuff they used to do, dude. That acapella Freebird, bro, nobody can touch that, dude. Like, Nobody can touch the acapella freebird, dude. Like, forget about it, bro. But, and also, like, Fish, what the greatest cover band ever, ever. Greatest cover band ever. Those complete albums they used to do live, radical. But I was never a big fan of the albums they chose. You know, I always thought the album choices were a little weak, dude. I mean, the White Album, I get it, but I'm not a Beatles fan. I was stoked. They did the Talking Heads. What else did they do? I think they did a... Did they do a Velvet Underground or something? 
But you know what the thing that impressed me most? You know what impressed me most about Fish doing those albums live? Is if you go listen to the live Fish doing the Beatles White Album and you go listen to the Beatles White Album, dude, it's it's radical, dude. But you know who's radical? Dark Star Orchestra. You want to hear a band cover the Grateful Dead? Go check out Dark Star Orchestra. They're better than what people are going to see the dead for now. The dead. You know what I mean? Like, or the, these incarnations that are presently playing. Go see Dark Star Orchestra. Those dudes, those dudes are radical, man. But so I guess the point I'm getting at is it bums me out when people try to compare the two things because it is comparing the Mars, I mean Jupiter, and the sun, dude. I mean, that's it, like like I said. And I had the, I had the privilege of catching those early 90s scenes where the Grateful Dead would be playing and then a couple days later, Fish would be playing somewhere. Like that Highgate Vermont show and then Fish down at Sugarbush like four days later, that was radical. So I got to... I. I get to have this because I seen them both live in the same week multiple times, right? And it's just a different trip, dude. And I mean, literally, like a different trip, bro. Like, completely. I mean, I'll, I'll tell you, one of the greatest psychedelic experiences I ever had was Seattle hockey ring fish in like 95. Blew my mind, dude. Blew my mind, bro. Uh, I, that show is insane, bro. But you know, man, like, it's just such a different thing. Like, like, I, you know, that's where it is. I can't even say why it's different because it's so different, man. So I can't, I can't subscribe to the whole, like, even putting them in the same, like, ballpark. Except for they play incredible shows. Like, yeah, there you go. That's like them being celestial bodies. Like, they're incredible live bands, both of them. And and neither one diminishes from the other. That's what I, I trip on. But I will say this, man, about one thing regarding... If you listen to any one music too much, you are selling yourself short, man. Jerry Garcia listened to everything, man. And I think you're supposed to go check out all sorts of music. I know too many people that only listen to Fish or only listen to the dad. Like, bro, how can you truly appreciate what great bands they are until you listen to other music? And there's so much good music in the spectrum of music, man. I mean... Look, dude, I like to throw on my punk rock every now and then and just get down and dirty with it. I love I love throwing on Toots in the Mai Tai. Seeing Toots live, dude, that was an incredible show, man. You know, so... But is Toots even in the same, like, thing? Nah, dude, it's not even, like... It's not even, like, the same deal, dude. So, my point being is, for those of you guys who debate... The fish Grateful Dead thing, like, mm, I don't know, bro. I, I can't go there, dude. I, I just can't can't get there, man. Because the Grateful Dead never, never would have put out a run like an antelope. Runaway Jim, maybe, dude. That's, but you know what? I hear a little bit of, of Jerry Garcia in Trey now that he went and played with the Dead, and I think that's a good thing, man. The fact that Fish really wasn't never truly checked, like you, Trey was talking about, never really truly checked the dead out, man. Like, that's kind of a loss. And I think, I mean, I'll say, I'm one of those people that thought they were in cahoots together when they were doing Ghost. I thought Fish was deliberately following the dead around, dude. Odds are they probably weren't. Maybe their guy who was booking their shows was, I don't know, dude. But, you know, I, I don't even, I just, I just, for all of you out there, I think it's a waste of time to even put him in the same thing. But I, I'll get all up in there, man. I'll talk some dad, dude. Gosh, man. 
I was, I was talking about the other day, man. I saw my first dead show. New Year's, like not New Year's Eve, but like, you know, the night before the 28th or 29th, man. New Year's 1986, man. It was rad, bro. You know what song blew my mind that night? Masterpiece, a Bob Weir tune. Like you can get all up in the dead too, dude. I'm not a big fan of Bob Weir. Like within the dead, like there's two different genres going on. There's there's Bob Weir Grateful Dead, and then there's Jerry Garcia Grateful Dead, and then there's the Grateful Dead with the Godshaws, dude. Like, man, I'm not a big Godshaw. And then you can get even even crazier about which keyboardist. I'm a I'm a Brent guy, dude. I'm all about Brent Maynard, dude. He was the man, dude. <laughs> but you know, you can get all up in the music. That's the beauty of music, man. You can you can definitely split atoms and make some sort of like atomic energy out of like music. That's the beauty of music. So I just, I guess my big thing is one's right, one's wrong. No, they're all right. Oh, dude, I was cranking Britney Spears yesterday, dude. I was so fired up on Britney Spears, dude. Like, yeah, dude, like it's Britney Spears, but you know what? She's got some good tunes, dude. And if you don't know that, you are missing out, bro. You go listen to Toxic, bro. Like, Toxic's sick, dude. That was a rad tune, man. So, I mean, I guess that's my thing about music or whatever I was talking about. Don't compare. Just listen, man, and enjoy them. I mean, you're you're supposed to, I mean, how do you not compare? Like, it's human nature to compare stuff. But I guess my real big thing is, like, I don't think there's any need to debate whether the Grateful Dead or Fish are on the same, like, plane. Like, they're just two totally different fries, bro. Like, dude. Man, I'm thinking about it now, dude. It's just kind of blowing my mind right now, dude. So I saw, dude, that, dude, I saw some incredible fish shows, man. Those Sugar Bush shows in Vermont, the two-night Sugar Bush combo and, and with the Highgate thing. That was radical, bro. I was straight up fucking radical, man. Wow. I'll tell you what, you know who's a bad band? Bad, terrible live band? Red Hot Chili Peppers. I'll leave you on that note. <laughs>